is about exponential uh, decay in this case or decrease and we're asked to do various um, things to find the rate of change of temperature etc. Let's just start off at the start. We are told that Joan brings a cup of hot tea into a room and places the cup on the table. Then we're told at a time t minutes after jo Joan places the cup on the table the temperature theta of the tea is modelled by this equation. A and K are positive constants. Given the initial temperature of the T was 90 degrees, find the value of A. So by this, we're supposed to extrapolate the initial temperature. We're supposed to um, take from that that T is zero. So we substitute into this. Theta is therefore equal to 20 plus uh, the initial t temperature was actually, sorry, when T is zero, the initial temperature theta was also 90, so let's uh, substitute 90 in as well. 90 is equal to 20 plus a e to the negative k times 0. Now e to the k times 0 is 0, so e to the 0 is 1. So we have that 90 is equal to 20 plus a, therefore a is 90 subtract 20, which is 70. Okay, and that is part A done. A, uh, A is equal to 70. <clears throat> now, part B. We now know, let's just rewrite our equation. Theta, therefore, we can write this more accurately as 20 plus 70 e to the negative kt. We now have found A. Now, it says the t takes 5 minutes to decrease in temperature from 90 degrees to 55 show that k is equal to this. So, when t is equal to 5, okay, we know that theta is now equal to 55. So we can substitute these into the equation. So we can write, therefore, that 55 is equal to 20 plus 70 e to the negative um, 5 times, uh, k times 5, which I'm going to write as 5k. Okay, now we can subtract 20 off both sides, so 35 is therefore equal to 70 e to the negative 5k. We can divide both sides by 70, and 35 divided by 70 is a half, so a half is equal to e to the negative 5k. Now we can take natural logarithms of both sides, so ln of a half is equal to negative 5k, okay? Um, <clears throat> now, therefore, k is equal to a negative a fifth ln of a half, okay? Dividing both sides by negative 5. Now, that's not quite what they show us here, but it's actually the same thing. With ln, with logarithms, that minus 1, you could take that up as a power here, so that would be a fifth ln, a half to the power of minus 1. Now, a half to the power of minus 1 flips it, so it's 2. So this is a fifth ln 2 as required. Okay, so going back to our equation, we can actually write theta. We know that theta is 20 uh, plus 70 uh, and then e to the negative a fifth ln 2, all of that, okay, times t. So we've got our um, a and our k now from the initial um, work they gave us. Now it then says, find the rate, now the key word here is rate, at which the temperature of t is decreasing at the instant when t is 10. Give your answer in degrees per minute to three decimal places. Now, rate of temperature decrease. They're asking you to differentiate. They want you to work out d theta by dt. That is the rate at which the temperature is dropping. If we differentiate this here, if we were to differentiate this with respect to t, we would get negative a k e to the negative kt. 
okay, because we'd differentiate the exponent and get negative k, multiply it by the a, and then keep your e to the negative kt. Now, we want to work out d theta by dt at t is 10, so we're going to substitute 10 into this, and we're going to get negative a k e to the negative 10 k. Okay, substituting for 10 here. Now, all we've got to do is substitute our a and our k in that we've worked out previously. Now, remember going back here, a is 70, and k we worked out was a fifth ln 2. So all we've got to do is substitute that in here. So this would be equal to negative 70 multiplied by a fifth ln 2. That would be these multiplied. And then e to the negative uh, 10 multiplied by a fifth ln 2. So all we've got to do is tap that into our calculator and we would get the rate of decrease. So let's do that. e, uh, that would be e to the power of negative 2 uh, ln 2. And we're going to multiply it by negative 70. And we're going to multiply it by a fifth. And we're going to multiply it by ln 2 as well. And we get ourselves um, 2.426 to 3 dp. So we get a rate of decrease of 2.426 degrees Celsius per minute to 3 dp.